So 5.3, we're going to start taking our 2D drawings into the third dimension. Um, there is some strategies I will show you to help with that. And the first one is the isometric dot diagram. Okay? So an isometric drawing, it tells you on the right, okay, it's just a 3D representation. You have to have this dot paper for it to occur. Okay? And you can read this if you'd like, but basically you can join the dots you know at an angle only okay so take a look at this cube okay this is what you gotta do so just take a good look at that and you can make your connections like this only sort of down right upright and then straight down okay so there's only one that goes up and down. The other two are at an angle. Okay? So it's like a Y. Okay? Let's try this out. First uh, picture is given to us. You know, next week we're actually going to be able to build this kind of thing in SketchUp. So you could like design, you know, your house. You could design a kitchen. You could design your bedroom. Okay? You could design a desk. You could design a shelf. Okay? And that's what we're going to be doing next week. Here is just a picture of what looks like a, a room with walls. And they're asking you to find the length of the other walls given that this length is 18. Okay. So what we're going to use is a scale or a proportion. How many lines does it take? Not dots, but how many lines does it take to get this 18 feet? How many lines? One. Can you guys see the purple? Or should I change it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you guys catch that? So count the lines. I'll put a little note there. Count the lines. Not the dots. So what was it? Nine lines gave us 18 feet. Then we could solve for one line using cross multiplication. So obviously it's, the answer would be two. One line, one line is equal to two feet. You could just cross multiply if you don't see that right away. So that way we can just jump over here into this picture and figure out like how long is y. One, two, three, four, five lines. So if one line is two, five lines would equal ten feet. And x, I'm not sure if x is just this little one or the big one. What do you guys think? Smaller one? which was one line, so this one's y, one line x equals two feet, h is one, two, three, four lines, four lines for h, four times two is eight feet, and z, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lines, Z is 16 feet. Okay, and there'll be one just like this on the test. Okay, so if, if you could handle that, was that pretty straightforward? And that's just a very basic explanation of scale in a 3D diagram. Now, on the next page, you actually, actually get to try to draw. Anybody ever done this before? Okay, so, so some of you this is, or most of you this is a new thing. I remember doing this like as a youngster and then I never saw it for like my whole life. And then now I'm teaching it. Okay, so number two, draw a shape below as an isometric drawing. Okay, use the scale 1 to 20. So does that mean it's getting bigger or smaller, 1 to 20? Why? Why? Hey? Because the first number is compared to the second number in the ratio. 
smaller. If the first number is smaller than the second number in the ratio, right, this is your scale factor. If, if the top part of a fraction is smaller than the bottom part of a fraction, when you multiply by that, it's going to get smaller. So we're making a model of this actual diagram. So what would we do to all these dimensions? So 40 we would times by 1 over 20. When you times by 1 over 20, Seth, what does it really mean you're doing? Dividing by, yes. So what's 40 divided by 20? 2. So this one's going to give you two lines. Does that make sense? If we say that one, one line is equal to one line is equal to yeah, sorry, this should say two centimeters. And one line will be one centimeter. That'll be our goal. One line is one centimeter. Just keep it simple. One is one. So 40 divided by 20 gives us two centimeters. And we just do that to all of them. Like the, the proper way to do it is to multiply by 1 20th, but I just want you to know that in reality you're just dividing by 20. So this one's 5 centimeters, so it'll be 5 lines. 60 divided by 20 would be 3 lines, 3 centimeters. This one, 2 centimeters. Whoops. 20 divided by 2. Oh my gosh. 20 divided by 20 is 1 centimeter. 60 divided by 20 is 3 centimeter. Sorry for the mistakes. So they're all up there now, it's good. Now we have to try to do this, okay? So you don't have to be on like the exact same dot as me, but just eyeball it out closely. So let's start, let's start with this one, okay? Let's start over on the left. So that is a height, it's going to go straight up. The heights go straight up. Okay, so the height goes up and down. The length and the width, those are what make the Y shape. They go in and out of the page, like kind of like that. So only the height goes up and down. Okay, so for the 40 centimeters, every line represents one centimeter. The scale gives us two centimeters, so that's just one, two. Okay, so I'm just going to start over on the left so I have space. Now let's do the 100, 100 centimeter. That was 5 centimeters, 5 lines. Pay attention, Jane. So we got to go not straight over, okay? Do not do this. See that? You do not do that. Everybody see that? That is not what you do. You go almost like out of the page at an angle. Okay. And you can use a ruler to make it look better. Okay. So like we need we're basically working on this face which is an irregular shape but we have the height and we have the length. Okay. Now I'll work on the well, first of all, how far does it make it over? How far does it make it over? It would be the same as the 60, right? For this face on top to make sense. The 60 was represented by three lines. So one, two, three. Now I feel like just finishing this face off, so like how high is the bottom edge of the, it's just one line. So you can bring down up in this corner one line and then you can connect like that. And there's that face. And I'll blow it up there so you can see it, so you can match it up with yours. Yeah, and you'll notice that it actually cuts through the dots and that's okay. 
because the other ones make sense. Okay. Now we know because of this 60 here that that's the other dimension. That's like into the page versus out of the page. So we can go into the page three lines. So one, two, three. And it has to make sense. So this one will go one, two, three. It would have to be parallel and congruent so that you can connect the height to it. And same with this edge, one, two, three. Now you can connect those two dots. And basically it's pretty much taking shape, so I'll just finish it off. And there it is. Yeah, so... You know, in the past, I've seen kids really struggle with this, and I've seen kids really just fly with this. So it's kind of hard at first. Way too long. Hmm? Yeah, good. It's pretty good. Yeah, so if you're into art, this might be... A pretty much a breeze for you. If you're not into art, this could be very challenging. I think your scale's right. Yeah, you do not. Your head was down when I said do not do this. Look at the difference in mine. Lengths and widths are into the page and out of the page. Like out of the page, into the page. And then heights are the only things that are up and down. Sure, okay. Got it for the next one. What did you say? Mm, I think you should go to one, two, three. You chopped the corner off. So just fix this. Okay. Now let's try the storage unit. Now if you look at the storage unit, uh, excuse me sir, please put your hood back. Thank you. Now if you look at the storage unit, it's saying you need to come up with an appropriate scale. That's the very first thing it says. And so look at those numbers. Basically 9, 30, 12 and 27. What's a good scale for those numbers? Are you going to divide by 7? Seven? 7's a weird number. So what divides all those numbers? Ten. Well, 27? Yeah, 3. 3 would be my choice. Or 30, yeah. So I would say every 30, probably every 30 millimeters. So you're saying, some of you said 10? Like 10 10's good too. 10 was a good choice. 10 or 30. So either one. Do you want to just use 10? Did I screw that up? What should have went first, the bigger number or the smaller number? Yeah, because we're making a model. So 1 to 10. Now think about if I use 10 here. So I'm going to divide, divide this by 10. I'm going to get 30. You want to draw 30 lines? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I'm okay with making mistakes because then you can see what to do, right? If you make the mistakes, then you learn from it. Okay, so let's use a scale factor of 1 30th. So in other words, the scale statement would be 1 to 30. So you times all these numbers by 1 30th, times by 1 30th, times by 1 30th, 
times by 1 30th, which is in essence just like dividing by 30. So the answers to these are like 12 divided by 3, 27 divided by 3, 9 divided by 3, and 30 divided by 3. Okay. So all these answers are in the same unit. They're all millimeters. Scale factor preserves units. Now we need a scale for the the ISO drawing. For the ISO drawing, we'll go one line is equal to one millimeter. And then you're sorry, and then you're ready to draw. And I'm a little bit frightened about this one. <laughs> but I'll try my best. Because I'm not an artist by any stretch. Okay. Okay. So the heights can go up and down. I feel like I want to start at a height. So I feel like I'm going to start over here on this left panel. That's probably where I'm going to start. Now, in that panel, can you see part of it? There's a part that you can't see. It's covered by the front shelf. Do you see that? So you got to be mindful of that when you're building this panel. So that's why I just draw kind of light and you can use your eraser after. Okay? So what's the total height of that thing? We got 10 millimeters. So we got to draw 10 lines. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 lines. Now how much does it go into the page? The depth is 3 millimeters, so 3 lines. 1, 2, 3. So now basically once you've got part of it done, okay, let me blow that up for you guys. 10 lines and then 3 lines. Let's make sure everybody's on the same page. So take a look at my screen. If this is three up here, and this is a one of the components, down here it has to be three, so that it's like congruent and parallel, so that you can connect these things. And I'm just going to draw it in as if it's not blocked off, and then use my eraser after. Now, in my opinion, that's an easy way to do it. Okay, so there's the panel. And I'm just going to draw that in, and leave it for now. And I'll do a little few touch-ups after. Okay? If you're comfortable closing off a part of it, then by all means. Now, let's work on the back components. How long is that back component? It would be the same as the front component, which is 9. So we need to draw in 9. nine lines. Now, Kenneth, look at my screen. Do you do one of those? No. Okay. So where does the nine go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now it's starting to take shape. Now think about parallel and congruent. See these? That's going to have to show up over here or else it's going to look not real, right? So connect those. Does that make sense? Okay. Now the height I believe was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we've got to drop 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And lo and behold, you've connected to the bottom. And I'll just join that there. And that's starting to take shape. It's like I would just connect the dots at this point, like you're playing a game. Uh, like when you're a kid, 
connecting the dots. So these dots got to connect to these dots coming straight down. And we have the side view taking shape here. We're going to get in the bottom panel. And like right there, I'm just going to stop because I know that I can't see past that wall. As an observer, this is what you see. You cannot see through it, so I did not join those lines through the line. Are you asking about this back here? Yeah, yeah that was a that was a mistake, wasn't it? I kind of just want to make my own now. I feel like I'm getting creative. So if I draw in that one there, now at this point I'm just freehanding. What did I do with what 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 sh what should I do with these? Erase them. And I don't. I have to use a white pen to erase. So. And I'm just going to leave it like that. It's more like a window frame. I didn't draw the appropriate uh, picture, but you can pretty much do whatever you want at this point. I'm not going to be a stickler. Okay, so if you want to finish it off, do it properly, or drew what I draw, that's okay. And it's pretty much like a frame at this point. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. You get the idea. Now we can go into perspective drawings. Uh, if you've taken art, you probably have a better explanation of what this is than I could give you. All I can tell you is that if you've ever looked at a painting of a road or a picture of a road, you can see, and this is on the next page, you can see that the road looks like it's narrowing into the distance. And this gives the observer like the perspective or idea that it's uh, far away. Okay. So, a perspective drawing, I'm just reading this out, is a drawing that tries to represent objects as we actually see them. It uses the idea that parallel lines appear to intersect at a point on the horizon. This is called a vanishing point. And in a perspective drawing, objects that are farther away appear smaller. So in order to do this, they give you some definitions on the right, but all you have to do is draw a parallel line to your shapes, parallel, here and here. You put in a dot, typically off to the side, and then you only connect the vertices that you want so that you're like, your perspective is if you're standing you're standing over here and you can only see this side. Like you would not connect this one. You don't need that because you can't see through the box. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Okay, and then basically what happens is I'll use my pointer to demonstrate this. You just use your eraser and you erase off this edge and you look at the next page and they finish it off there on that page. So those th next three steps, you can see that the, the back is taken off. And it gives this idea of 3D and into the page. And since, since all the vertices are going towards the same point, it, it looks like it makes sense. So I would try this on B. A is kind of funny because it's like in line. Yeah, it's in line with it. So A is kind of funny. I would probably just practice with B. Now, what you're going to want to do is take your ruler. And if you're smart about this, you don't actually have to draw the entire line. But you need to take your ruler like this. And take out your line. 
and connect like that. So I would just draw s lightly, draw lightly so that you can erase it after. All right, so take your ruler and do the next one as well. Okay, and I hope you get the idea. I kind of want to take my ruler off the screen, but I'll keep it on for now. Does that make sense? Can I get the ruler out of here? Okay, and then the last one, because I have the line tools super easy for me. That's what? Jaden? That's so what? Don't ever say that again in here. In fact, ever. Okay, and then pick a point anywhere up on the and just make sure that you're matching up and then whoops I used my pen by accident and then it'll make sense just like that and then you take out your eraser I'll use a white pen and then you get rid of all this other stuff and if you're actually enjoying this and you find some peace and tranquility in it you might want to take an art class in your life if this is bothering you and you wish it was over, then probably not. Okay, so there is a perspective drawing. And like to answer this question, do your perspective drawings look the same? You know, if we actually did this, If you actually did this, uh, you would see that, no, they don't look the same because they have different vanishing points. So if you different vanishing point, it's going to look different. So now we can try this thing on the bottom. Looks like it's just going to be, you know, an irregular shape this time. This is an irregular shape this time. You know, and if you get good at it, you don't even need your eraser. So for example, I'll just go like maybe halfway but as long as they're all pointing towards the vanishing point then you're going to be okay you need the inside one and then you go up like that I don't know I'm bad at this. How about that? Does that look, look okay? Kind of. I didn't use my eraser. I just sort of winged it. Oh, good. And it just gives the perspective like it's like a step. Like your... That's like the front step of your house or something. And when we go to work in the computer lab and we're working on the SketchUp tool, you do this in like a second. All you do is create a rectangle, raise it out of the page, and then you take another rectangle and like chop away at this. So it's like you just go into the rectangle and you, it's like you're cutting off a piece of it. You, you could draw this in two seconds. Yeah, you could freehand it. Yep. Yep. All right. So there's perspective, and now the coffee table. So this one's the hardest one. You've got to actually have like some care and attention on this one. I'll get you started. It won't be pretty, but we'll try it out. Basically, you need to just draw in a horizontal line up top. Use your ruler. It's got to be parallel to the tabletop. You know, they're giving you a side view of the tabletop or a front view, whatever, and then Pick pick a spot on this line, Ty. Pick a spot on this line and draw in a dot. That's your vanishing point. And you just get at her. Okay. Pardon me? You have to create that line and dot. It's up to you. So yours might look a bit different than your neighbors. Okay, and this one I'm going to actually connect them because it's 
looks more challenging. And you got to be pretty fine detailed on that one because it's such a small width. So it actually looks pretty cool. And then I would connect the horizontal line cutting across. And then I really got to zoom in to get the vertical drop. And then for me, I take out my take out my white pen and start edging away this. You would just use your eraser. And the finer tipped your pencil, the finer tip your eraser is, the more accuracy you'll have, the more sanity you'll have. If you're using like a unsharpened pencil and you don't have an eraser on your pencil, then I apologize. But you should always be prepared for class. So there's the tabletop. Now I'm starting to think about these legs. You know, how they're going to work and where is the back legs. So that's starting to bother me a little bit. You wouldn't be able to see the front or the back legs. <laughs> yeah, because it's a front view, so if it's all symmetric, you wouldn't be able to see the back legs. You're right. Now, these legs are not going to be super big. Like, you don't really need to do this. You don't need to connect to that. I would, If I was you, I would just put my ruler in there. So let me just get rid of that. Get my ruler in there. Of course, it's massive. Ugh. And you connect the ruler to the vanishing point. And then I would just draw a tiny little line once it's connected. I would just draw a tiny line from there to like there. Because what's the point of drawing a huge line and then erasing it all? Because you know it's going to be pretty simple. Straight up. And there is the leg. So you messed up? <laughs> now, go do the other leg. I feel like I should get Miss Hamer to come like guest lecture on this one. And of course my ruler is not snapping to this line, so that's just lovely. So I'll just get rid of this ruler. Piece of crap. It's not snapping either. Change the orientation. Why is this doing this? Won't go to it. It's like, no, you can't have it. No candy for you. It's denying me. Freehand it? Boom. That's bizarre. What do I got to do for that one? I don't know. I'm not good at art. Help. That's okay, right? And then what do I do? To there? And then to there? Brutal, right? Don't you need back legs? Ah. Yeah, you do, which is weird, right? It's freehand those. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. 
Okay, anyways, you get the idea. You do not have to produce these on the test. I will not test you on, okay? But there might be one in like the multiple choice where you have to like pick the correct perspective drawing. I'm not going to expect you to draw this. Now, for the worst part of this unit, the exploded diagram. You like this? <laughs> Okay, so here is the standard bookshelf. You know, it's got a couple of cubby holes. You get the wood planks on the side and a wood plank through the middle. You got a top and a bottom. Now, if you flip the page, they blow it up. They blow it up and they show with dotted lines how to connect the edges. Jaden, do you want to put that on my desk or what? Question? Yeah. Okay, so this by far is the hardest thing to do. Now, watch me. Watch me butcher this drawing. So there, I'm just going to draw the front face. Okay. There's the front face. Now the back, you got to just, it's going to be symmetric and parallel, so I wish I could copy paste, but it's just going to sort of freehand this. That was brutal. And then, what you would do is connect where they would connect with the dotted line. So those would connect like that. And those edges would not connect, would they? <laughs> oh, they do connect up top. And those connect like, oh, geez. Undo. Why do we have to do this? I don't know. That's a good question. But like if you ever, s you know, sometimes you read an instruction manual for, our, uh, you know, a tool or something, you're going to have, you're going to have uh, exploded diagrams. Oh, exactly. And you will not have to do this on a test. Aww. You don't have, if you don't want to do it, Billy, don't do it. Like I'm not going to force you to draw an exploded dot diagram or exploded diagram. I don't like these either. And that's why next week we're going to the lab. And today I'm just sort of trying to finish off the unit because to me, I just want to just get it done with and go have some fun in the lab. So there's the side. It looks terrible. And now I would connect to where they would connect. Does that make sense? And I mean, if you don't have the dotted line tool, you got to stick a ruler up there and go dash, 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 dash. Okay, and one more to go for me. I don't know where you guys are at in your life, but how many... I don't believe that nobody's doing it. Who's actually do? I'm doing it. Anthony did it. Of course, Anthony did. It. He's flying. Jaden, if you can't be positive, then the door is right here, buddy. All right, so there it is. I don't think I I drew the. I drew this one on the right really bizarre. I probably should have angled it the other way. Probably. But. It's bizarre, right? I think I screwed the right side up. I totally screwed that up. <laughs> Luckily, I have the undo, the undo tool. Buy you guys all an iPad? Apple Pencil? Nah. Get your own. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so let's finish off with this activity and then we can move on. Okay, so you get the idea. Exploded view. I know, it's ridiculous. You gonna do this box? You gonna do the bookshelf? 
Well, they gave us the explorer view. Could we draw the bookshelf? To me, it looks like there is a divider in the bottom shelf only. Do you guys see that? So there's the top of the shelf. We come down like this. And then we got to go into the page across like this, like that, and then into the page. Oh gosh, <laughs> that was bad. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. <laughs> you want to make fun of me? I'm trying. At least I'm trying. You guys are like, I don't do this. Did I screw that up? What did I erase that for? <laughs> There, I tried my best. Okay. You know, you're all talk, you guys. You guys are all talk. No walk. Can't even walk the walk. Okay, at least I tried. Okay, so let's try the homework. Um, this is what you're going to be doing in... Uh, it's actually what you're going to be doing in the lab. So you could create this sort of base shape. And all you'd have to do is take the, it's called the push-pull tool. And you literally just grab here. You grab, you raise out of the screen, and it's done. All like this isometric dot drawing in a second. Okay? We're doing that next week. Tuesday to Friday. All week. Wow. <laughs> we can stay here and work in the blue no, book. Okay, no. so let's work on the homework here. I'll uh, sit down, get the quizzes out for you. You guys can work on the homework. You can work on the quiz, and that's that.